Plans for big changes around the Minneapolis chain of lakes came under fire tonight as lake area residents met to learn more about the proposed renovations. In a nutshell, it calls for the elimination of some roadways, the widening of pedestrian paths, and turning one-way roads around Lake Harriet and Lake of the Isles into two-way traffic. Some say parts of the proposal are positive, but that the overall impact on the neighborhoods is not being considered. We're just beside ourselves, and we're afraid because this has all come about without our knowing about it. They did present the plan Monday night, but um, just all of a sudden, hey, this is what we're going to do to your neighborhood. A final decision on the plan is not expected before next fall. Seems like we've been hearing a lot about the car recalls. Two more to tell you about tonight, affecting more than 100,000 vehicles. At Nissan, the Infiniti J30 and the G20 models have apparently defective seatbelt wires that might spark an electrical fire. The cars in question are 1992 through 94 models. Now, over General Motors, defective brakes are the trouble on 1996 Buick Regals and Chevrolet Lumina sedans. GM says a front brake line could rupture and cut your stopping power in half. Recall notices will be in the mail soon. You can keep your award. That's the message from Julie Andrews to Broadway. Andrews was nominated for a prestigious Tony Award for her starring role in Victor Victoria. But with no Best Musical nomination and no Best Director nomination for her husband, Blake Edwards, Andrews today rejected her own nomination. Before opening on Broadway, Victor Victoria got its start right here in Minneapolis. If you had a tough day on the job, we have a few stories that might make you feel better. Lightning hit the plane of the governor of Illinois, and some of his staff were riding on it. They got a good scare after seeing flames and smelling smoke, but the plane landed safely. Nobody was hurt. In Minneapolis, an electrician's truck started on fire. To make matters worse, a worker was stuck up in the cherry picker when all of it was happening with the flames right below him. Rick Willie managed to jump out of the bucket before he was burned. Jumped out, but he still was a little bit shaken up. I can imagine. Yeah. And a driver in Minneapolis must be quite shaken up tonight. Somehow, the driver forgot that the garage door was closed. He went through that. Then he went down the street, hitting a car, and then slamming front end first into a house. Now, that's what I call having a bad day. Yeah, but I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Could NHL hockey be coming to St. Paul? Mark Rosen explores that and much more coming up in sports. Whoa, we'll also give you a sneak peek of Twister. And I'll be giving you a sneak preview on what to expect this weekend. I think you'll like it, especially for fishing opener. But first of all, as I mentioned, the U-team looks deep into why wearing life vests can truly save your life. Kevin Berger will also show you which jackets work the best. Before we go, we wanted to let you know to watch 4 News to see if you have any unclaimed cash coming your way. Our list starts tomorrow. You're watching 4 News, your number one news choice. Now, 4 News continues with Don Shelby, Colleen Needles, Mark Rosen, and meteorologist Rebecca Cole. This is 4 News. Tonight in Dimension, the U-Team shows us the importance of life jackets. A new law requires each boat passenger to have a wearable life jacket. Those seat cushions just no longer count. Plus, boats over 16 feet must carry a throwable flotation device as well. Last year, 20 people drowned in Minnesota boating accidents. Most would be alive today had they worn life jackets. Here's reporter Kevin Berger with a story that affects so many of us in the land of 10,000 lakes. outdoorsman Bob Higgins knew the Mississippi. He lived most of his life on the river, won a bass tournament here a few years back. But last May, at age 53, the river took his life. His mother, Lorraine. Horrible, horrible. I'll never forget that. Deep as their sorrow runs, this family knows it could be worse. Bob Higgins was fishing with his